Asus crammed every single feature they knew about mechanical keyboards into one singular big one. It's got, well, I'll have to read the description, but it's got everything. So let's go check it out. This thing's massive and it's got quite the name as well. ROG Strix Flare 2 Animate. Really long name. What's the price? I've actually been wondering this myself since I can't find the price anywhere on the internet. Can I trust this site? It says 220, but is this site trustworthy? That's the real question. We've got Aura Sync. We've got PBT Double Shot Keycaps. That's not bad. And we've got ROG nx mechanical switches so rogs asus rogs proprietary linear switches linear and swift anime matrix should we say anime or anime personalize it with custom animations media controls cool 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 switch stabilizers i feel like all keyboards have that it's got a switch puller boom it's hot swappable how to attach the wrist rest, apparently because it's more complicated than it's supposed to be. I will consult this later. Fabric sleeve thing instead of plastic. Not bad. Better than plastic, although I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with it in the future. Maybe I'll keep it for something. It looks pretty good. Built-in cable. We do have a big chunky boy cable. Oh darn, now we've got some plastic. Nice wrist rest though. Really comfortable. Republic of Gamers on the bottom left. I really hope this is magnetic. If it's not, I think chat will deduct points for it. And stickers. That's pretty cool. I'm going to keep these. I like stickers. And then we've got manual. It's got a kabillion languages. 10 out of 10 for the stickers though. I need to use this right now. Where will this go? On my wow stick? That'll look good. I like that. That's going right there. Now my wow stick is rog branded and everyone will question me please be magnetic please am i doing this right remove the light dis diffuser from the keyboard i've removed the light diffuser from the keyboard store the diffuser into the wrist rest okay attach the wrist rest Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Just make sure you don't lose your diffuser because then you're, you're not going to have a good time. Yeah, Asus is launching this board on January 31st. It's pretty comfortable. I give that a win for them. So the diffuser at the ends here have magnetic parts, both ends, and it's supposed to just go in like so easy. Okay, I've got to plug it in. What does it sound like? The scariest part. Okay. You guys are all saying meh, meh, whatever, but you know, for a big brand company, okay, just, just take other big brand companies and just fair comparisons, okay? You can compare this keyboard to Roquette, Corsair, Razer, Logitech. It definitely is a pre-built. It's definitely a big brand store. You know, if you're going to Best Buy, you're going to Walmart, like you're going to see it on the shelf. It's not a custom keyboard. And I think that's a fair comparison comparison to say like it's not bad i like it the switches sound pretty good and i'm impressed with their small steps their space bar though still needs a little bit of work and i think i can just put some dielectric grease into that really quickly Okay, we've got big boy cables here. Two of them. One for the keyboard, one for pass through. I'm just gonna plug in one. There needs to be a cable routing or something. No, we've got nothing. We've got nothing in the back, but that's okay because we've got some beautiful rubber feet. There's only one angle of rubber feet. So thick cables. The USB pass through is for right here. If you got a mouse or a headset or controller or whatever you need to plug in, you can put it right there if you plug in your usb pass-through cable but i did not dang this cable is so big it's so thick it doesn't behave We've got volume controls on the left look at this right here this is their anime matrix it animates so it's actually next song previous song that's actually pretty cool and then this 
here, this here is a volume wheel. So we've got volume up, volume down. Go, just, just go down. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's probably the, the more ergonomic place to put it. Unlike other keyboards, you know, where the wheel is on the right side, where it's like, oh, I'm using my mouse. I'm using my mouse. I'm gaming. And then, oh no, I have to turn down the volume. They better make a 10 keyless version. I hope so too. This doesn't fit on my setup either. So we got volume up, volume down, and I have no idea what these are. So unlock, lock. I'm assuming that locks the windows. Yeah. So we've got no more windows key with that. Turn off lighting, lighting off, lighting on good but there's this button here and that button is a mute button so it's just easy press it's really soft it's fairly lightweight one and a half pounds maybe zoom in you see this this top thing here that's the metal plate and then everything else is plastic it doesn't flex fairly sturdy before this dream ends i will figure out the anime matrix and we're gonna put something cool there the wrist rest is rgb there you go the wrist rest does have have RGB if it stays connected or else it turns off. In the meantime, we're gonna talk about these switches because they are proprietary. They are Asus. They're different. They're different. Little box of tools. Keycap puller. Sort of a different look. And then switch puller. Sort of a bulky boy. I like it though. Hmm. Compared to other keycap pullers, at least you can put your index and middle finger on it instead of being like, I can't, I can't. This is much better. I take off these keycaps and we'll see what's up. It works. All clear housing with like a burgundy colored maroon colored stem. And so three pin hot swap sockets north facing. It does have per key RGB and you can program everything on their software, which I will have to check out. I think they are. I think they are. They are pre-lubed. Props to Asus. That's crazy. But I think that's a huge step up for big brands. When was the last time we saw a big brand do something like this? I'd say this is pretty good. For pre-lubed, they're moving forward. They are taking notes from somewhere, from somebody. They are exactly like Cherry MX switches, except they do have the wing latch style closing. So I guess they're more kale switches. The stabs are very similar to razor stabs. They're optical stabs. So they connect onto the keycap instead of onto the plate or PCB, but they are pre-lube that's a win what i don't like about these kinds of stabilizers is when you have to replace the keycaps you gotta pull these ends out and if the keycap tolerance is really tight it'll be really hard to take off the stabs are not bad. So they're compatible with new keycaps if you want to put in any keycaps that you want as long as it has cross-shaped stems. So as I was typing with this wrist rest, it really goes up. It has too much angle. The keyboard will, will come out of here, but your wrist is already higher than the keyboard itself. So that's one thing that I found that I didn't like too much while typing. But if you're gaming, like that's pretty comfortable. I can see someone gaming with this and just resting their hand there that's that's nice no pinging because it does have pre lube switches here so no ping you know what should we open one of these up they are linear so they have the reds the browns and the blues these are the reds let's do a poll i would probably just replace all of the switches with something i i liked more but i don't hate these i like these and then i'd probably change up the keycaps all the votes are saying please open it up i'm gonna get a switch opener let's investigate shall we i hate, I hate kale style switches they're just a pain whenever i have to loop keyboards with these kinds of switches i'm like never again so this wasn't terrible all right tell me you are pre-lubed there doesn't mm, is there i feel like there's barely 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 anything but it's not just bare plastic and then the springs definitely lubed the stem questionable questionable it's a step up you could lube it more if you want. Yeah, so you can put any three pin switch. Semi lubed. I can 100% say that it is semi lubed. These are the switch types over here. We've got ROG NX blue, clicky and tactile. We've got ROG NX brown, which is ultra tactile. Well, they said ultra tactile. I sort of wish they sent me those. And we've got ROG NX red, which is linear and switch. I hope someone else takes a look at this keyboard in the tactile configuration and tell me how it is.
is. You can see inside your keyboard where all the switches meet the PCB. Since I have my tools here, I actually did want to do something pretty quick to the space bar. It's like plenty of lubed, but it's still pretty rattly. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. We're just going to go ham with that lube. Just go ham. Okay, we're taking it apart. Goodbye, wrist rest. Okay, because this is a unreleased keyboard so far, there's no guide. So I'm just going to have to wing it. Inside, there's supposed to be sound dampening foam. Before I take it apart, I have to try their armory crate anime matrix thing. Uh, Asus did send this over to me. Yes. Hashtag sponsored, which means in the internet world, in the creator world, that means they are paying me money to do something on their keyboard. But they didn't say that I couldn't say anything or that I could say things or they didn't give me any rules. And then part of me is like, well, I guess I can do whatever. Welcome to your anime matrix. Drag an image from your content library or press insert to continue. Okay, that's cool. Save and apply. Ooh, I've got cats. Okay, so you can do notifications for the date. That's sort of cool. I, I like this though, the date. I wanted to change my RGB. That's all I want. I want cats and blue. I probably won't be modding it. Probably replace some of these switches just to see what they sound like. There's definitely two screws here. Asus, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. The best I can do is show you the marketing. There you go. Sound dampening foam. And I agree, it does have that. It sounds great. I just don't know why I can't take it apart. It did sort of break a nail or scratch a nail. So that is not good. Not cool, not cool. I'm gonna change out a few switches just so we can hear what it sounds like with like glorious pandas, milky yellow, stuff like that. I've grabbed some box shades so we can get to hear some clickies. And then I've grabbed some glorious pandas so we get some tactiles. We'll go for four box jades. Okay, I'm gonna get keycaps. I feel like we're making this too fancy. What shall I put in here? Maybe my Akko Red. We have the EPBT Dolch keycaps that I got from KBD fans. And they are pro- No, they're not the Dolch. Holy cow, they're not the Dolch. What are these? So you got the black, the dark gray, and the light gray. I can't tell you what these are. <laughs> Listen to this, okay? Akko Red. Default Asus NX. It's like they don't sound good with these keycaps. I feel like by changing up the keycaps, we've ruined the sound of the keyboard. Unless we were also to change the switches as well. These are the box shades. These are the glorious pandas. These are the default switches. And the, the this is an Akko Red. Lesson learned is that we need more Echo Reds to determine if Echo Red is the secret. Echo Red is superior. Nice. And put on keycaps. This is definitely how you do it. Just change all all the switches to Echo Radiant Reds and now we're we're talking. We're talking like it sounds pretty decent. So even with my new keycaps, which are not shine through, surprisingly, I've still got pretty decent RGB. Pretty good RGB still. You turn on music and turn off. Yes, this is how you see how loud our volume is. Pretty cool. I like it. Now, let me put the wrist rest back on. There you go. RGB. Shiny right there. White looks clean. White it is. I think for this price point, onboard memory would have been a nice bonus. Oh, that's cool. It's got RGB profiles. So it does have some onboard memory. Just not for the anime, the anime matrix screen then. The wrist rest is nice. Oh, hey, I'm on like my heart mode. So for each profile, there's different effects. What? I'm pretty sure it said there was no, no memory in the software. Okay, I'm half wrong, I'm half right. But you can see here, advanced effects cannot be saved to onboard memory. So you can do simple 
simple things, but nothing too crazy. So I'm half wrong, half right, and I do apologize to Asus if saying the wrong things. The pros of this keyboard is RGB, wrist rest, PPT double shot keycaps, pretty decent stabilizers. I liked all the controls on the left side, because if you're playing with your right hand, then you've got your left hand that can do mute volume up, volume down. 8,000 hertz pulling rate, not my thing, but if you're a gamer, you know, maybe. And hot swap, and it has sound dampening foam. I've looked at a lot of pre-builds, and this is pretty decent. I don't like that you need armory crate to do a lot of the things, like the advanced things. I definitely have to keep playing around with it. Price point, $220. So that's a con. The main reason why someone would be like, oh, no way, no way, that's like way too much. Because 220 is, it's a lot of money. The other one probably is this, this big boy cable here that just consumes your table. But it does have USB pass-through if you're into that. If you're not a fan of the screen, you can get the version without it. For me, it's three cons because it's so big. So the size sucks. <laughs> yeah, I think it definitely needs a removable cable. And then the next thing is TKL. TKL and removable cable, that would change things. Let's do the sound test. I've sort of uh, changed it up a bit, but it's a little different. So there it is. That is the keyboard. Thank you so much for attending the stream. I appreciate you all being here. But have a good night. Bye.